This is Kali, the Master Headhunter. I hope that everybody's well and in great standing. This is the Dark Womb Goddess. I'm coming on here to show you guys how I keep my hair moisturized. Uh, if you see a little stuff in the background, excuse me, because I'm like cleaning my room up and um, today's wash day. Um, so, with well, laundry day rather. So, I'm just, pretty much I just use some clips on the side to keep it flat, you know, so it won't be real poofy on the edges. Um, and I just moisturized it with some distilled water. I always use distilled water on my hair in between the wash days. Shea butter mix. And yeah, I keep it in this, it's convenient. It's plastic, you can throw it away when it don't work right. I'm just using a banana clip and a clamp. And uh, that's pretty much it. I just used a, a rat tail comb to part. And like I said, I'm just moisturizing. So I just wanted to come on here and show you guys how I moisturize my hair. If you guys hear something, that's one of my cats. She, I don't know why she's doing that right now, but she's just talking. <laughs> she, I guess she got a lot to talk about, right? Those of you guys who have cats know what I mean. I do a lot of finger parting. Um, I don't use a comb too much unless I want to be specific with the part, but I do a lot of finger detangling and finger parting and finger combing because it just works better for me. So I have uh, fine hair and um, I don't need nothing happening to it. And here you can see I'm just grooving to some African music that I love so much. <laughs> I'm always dancing while I'm doing my hair. It's just part of doing your hair. So I'm gonna continue to moisturize with water and the shea butter mix. Um, if any of you guys are curious to how you make this, let me know. Um, I'll show you the way I do it, but I did get the recipe from Hey Fran, Hey. So um, I'll try to put that link below. made it to the front now so I want to show you what I'm doing with the front because I have it parted like that way so I want to make everything go over this way so I'm gonna come over here and what I'm gonna proceed to do <laughs> is I think I'm gonna start right here I think let's, let's see. okay so I'm just going, I'm just parting right there with my finger, okay? And I'm going to get this out the way. All right, y'all see that? So what I do is I go that way. I don't go straight up. I go in an angle, you know what I mean? So I just go in an angle like that. Bam. And there it is. Okay. 
All right. So I'm just going in an angle. And um, I hope y'all can't really hear what's going on in the background because I am watching videos while I'm doing my hair. It just helps me. It's like watching TV while you're doing your hair. You know what I mean? All right. Make sure that nice and moisturized. My hair is really growing too, you guys. I'm so happy. Uh, I have a video that I'm probably going to upload before this. I'm showing you me um, uh, clipping, not clipping my ends, but just talking about uh, why I had to clip my ends and all that good stuff. So I'm just making sure that both sides are even. Okay. Also, make sure it's detangled in there. You don't want no tangles. So I'm just going to take it and push it. Instead of going backwards, I'm going to go to the front like that. Does that make sense? Okay. <laughs> and if I feel like the ends aren't moisturized enough, I just go in with some more of the mix, you know, and some water and make sure it's moisturized to my liking. I have been sharing very much, you know, uh, lately as far as my hair goes, but I'm going to get back to that for you guys who are interested. Um, so that part is done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist it like this. I hope that's not blurry because I won't be, there's no way I can tell until I begin to edit and I just take it and boom. Just do it like that, kind of bring it together a little bit. I just clipped it. You know, you can clip it down if you want to. You know, I just clipped both pieces. You can clip it down like that. Make sure it's not too tight on your edges. Because I can't do stuff that's too tight on my, my hair like that. So I just clip it down. And I'm going to move on to the next piece. I try to go in the pattern and my hair is, you know, growing in. Um, another thing, my edges is like, mm, my edges is um, a little shorter, I noticed. So most of the time, I just do those separately. Like you noticed in the back, I just take smaller pieces of hair. Uh, so, you know, because those are the pieces of hair that have broke off. So, I really don't want to cause no more breakage. So, I just take it and moisturize it, you know. And then, once I'm done doing that, I'm just going to twist. And I'm going to twist it going towards the front. Because I like the way my twists look when they're going towards the front. Okay, so you guys, my camera's getting ready to go out, so um, I'm going to go ahead and stop this so that I can show you how it looks when I'm done. Okay, I family, I just wanted to come in and show you really quick what it's looking like, and I'm loving these flat twists. the first time I've done flat twists in my hair, and I like them. I'm getting the, the feel of them, you know, how to do them, the technique. I'm trying to show you guys what it looks like, so hopefully you can see. So this is it. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, if you want to see a more detailed tutorial, let me know. I just felt like grabbing the camera, just recording this really fast. And um, like I said, if you want a more detailed uh, tutorial, let me know. And I will go ahead and get that done for you. So much love later and have a great day.